Now, as you know, virtual instrumentation and graphical system design, they cover a lot of different technology areas. And our job is to integrate those into a unified platform so that you can easily take advantage of them for your applications. There are many, many areas of technology that we follow and track. There's data converters, there's microprocessors, there's FPGAs, there's networks, there's the internet, and a lot more other areas. Basically, we want to sweat and take care of the details so that you don't have to. So this morning, we're going to take you through some demonstrations that show our latest R&D developments that work in a bunch of these different technology areas. And we're going to start with probably what you might think is the most fundamental part of an application system, which is data converter technology. It's that all-important hardware that lets you get information from the real world and control the real world. Now, we're always looking for new technologies to let us go higher speeds, higher resolutions. And every year at NI Week, we like to talk about the latest, greatest technology that we're using. So here to tell you about our latest advancements in this area, please welcome Eric Starkloff and John Meyer. How you doing, man? Good morning. So Eric, tell us what's going on with data converter technology here. Well, as many of you know, uh, we've measured our progress over the years in our digitizing capability with this chart of accuracy versus sampling rate. The idea behind virtual instrumentation is that uh, if you can digitize the signal, you can use software to make any type of measurement. One of our core strategies has been to use commercial converter technology from companies like Analog Devices and Texas Instruments. Many of these parts are used and intended for applications like cellular base stations and high-definition televisions, and they've followed sort of a Moore's Law progression over the years. We've built on that technology, and you can see over the last 10 years, we have dramatically increased our capability in terms of the signals that we can digitize. Okay, so I think, I think your setup is pretty obvious, Eric. So what new converter are you going to drop on the curve for us this okay, year? Okay, it's that obvious, huh? Yeah. Okay, so there is one area where there's a gap between the performance of our PXI platform and the performance of traditional instruments, and that's in very high sampling, high speed uh, converter technology. There's not a lot of commercial technology that goes over a few giga samples per second. And really only a few companies in the world have this technology, and those are the companies that build uh, high performance oscilloscopes. Well, Mike, over the past couple of years, we've been working with one of these oscilloscope technology uh, companies to bring that technology into PXI. Not just any oscilloscope uh, company, though. We've been working with the world leader in oscilloscopes, Tektronix. Uh, to tell us a little more, it's my pleasure to bring up to the stage the Chief Technology Officer of Tektronix, Craig Overidge. Thank you. So as the world leader in oscilloscopes, Tektronix uh, makes probably some of the most used, most trusted test instruments in the world. And we make a complete family of oscilloscopes from uh, very low cost oscilloscopes starting at well less than $1,000 all the way up to the highest speed oscilloscopes in the world with four channels of 20 gigahertz, 50 giga samples a second of operation. And while these products have historically had a large focus on R&D debug and verification applications, we appreciate there's a large number of automated test users, many in this audience, who prefer a modular format. And we were looking a couple of years ago at how we could bring our trusted measurement technology and high performance acquisition to those customers. And we realized that the best way to do that was by partnering with a world leader in test automation, National Instruments. OK, so I think everyone knows uh, we've built this up. You asked if we're going to add a point to the curve. And of course, the answer is yes. Uh, and it's going to be a big one. So I took the liberty of rescaling that uh, accuracy versus sampling rate chart on a linear scale instead of a logarithmic one. Now, all of National Instruments' current capability is represented by the blue shaded area. We've been working on a digitizer product in PXI Express using a Tektronics enabling technology to build a digitizer with greater than 10 giga samples per second of sampling rate and more than 3 gigahertz of real time bandwidth. That's great. You can clap. <laughs> So the, the core ASICs that are used in these modules are state-of-the-art silicon germanium uh, digital analog converters designed by Tektronix and used in our high-performance oscilloscopes. And we've got over a decade of experience designing with this IBM silicon germanium process, and we've used it to deliver the world's leading high-performance products with the best signal integrity. So Craig, certainly we know that Tektronix is recognized as a technology leader 
in our industry, but I know that there's more to our relationship than just us using your chips on our product, right? It's true. The, these products are truly a joint development, the little co-innovation thing up here. Um, they're truly a joint development leveraging the strengths of both companies. Uh, Tektronix designed the front-end signal conditioning, the analog to digital converter, and the calibration subsystem. And the NI team has been developing the memory and timing control backend, the PXI interface, and the software drivers. And the result for the customers is that you really get the best of both worlds. You get the modularity and software integration from National Instruments, and you get the trusted high-performance acquisition and signal integrity from Tektronix. Okay, so I know we're, we're excited to talk about the relationship and all the great product plans, but you know there is a prerequisite to be in this keynote. You actually have to demo something working. <laughs> so did you bring something? Yeah, of course. We knew that would be a prerequisite, so that's yeah. what John's here for. Uh, so uh, he's one of the engineers working on the project on the National Instruments team, and has been doing a lot of the test data on the initial revs of the design. So John, what can you show us? Okay, in this setup, we're going to take a look at how this new digitizer compares against the fastest digitizer in the NI portfolio. Until now, the 1 gigahertz bandwidth NI PXI 5154 digitizer. What we're going to do is we're going to test the performance of both digitizers by measuring the rise time of a fast digital pulse that has 150 picosecond edge. So this is a typical measurement for serial data testing. So now let's take a look at our first measurement. The yellow trace is what the fast edge looks like after it passes through the 1 gigahertz front end of the PXI 5154 digitizer. As you can see, we're getting a measure, measurement rise time about 433 picoseconds, which is pretty far off from what the actual signal's rise time is. So if we look at the data in more detail, you can see that we're only getting one sample on the rising edge, and that's due to the fact that we're only sampling at two gigasamples per second, which is, you know, that's if we're lucky. Okay, so John, let me stop you for a second and make sure we get it. So what you're looking for is actually a much steeper pulse, uh, but because of the limitation of the front end bandwidth of the digitizer you're using, that's why you're seeing that slope uh, as you're showing on the graph. Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. And fortunately, I know that my edge is actually faster than what the PXI 5154 is telling me, so I know I need to measure it using a faster digitizer. And fortunately, we have such a digitizer. It has over three gigasample, or gigahertz of bandwidth, which allows me to digitize more of the high-frequency harmonics of the signal, which give the pulse its shape. And you can tell immediately, due to the fact that the signal, as acquired by the new digitizer, reaches its maximum value more quickly than when digitized by the PXI 5154. This is because of the one gigahertz front end of the PXI 5154 filters out frequencies beyond one gigahertz that comprise the signal. Also, since I'm sampling at over 10 gigasamples per second, I'm able to acquire more points on the rising edge, which gives me a more accurate measurement than I was able to get with the other digitizer. Well, man, that's, so that's, a, that's really a great product. It's going to add a lot of capabilities to our, to our platform. Now, I know we're also working on integrating other types of technologies between National Instrument Tektronix. What are some of the other areas that we're working, Craig? Yeah, one of the other exciting areas is that we're, we're focused on improving the integration of hybrid test systems, particularly looking at better synchronization technologies. So uh, TechLink, for example, is a Tektronix design interface available in many of our high-performance instruments that provides communication and real-time control between instruments. And we've been working with National Instruments on the development of a TechLink adapter that allows Tektronix TechLink-enabled instruments to have tight timing correlation and real-time communication with PXI systems. And the net result of this is that customers will be able to more quickly deploy hybrid test systems based on Tektronix TechLink-enabled instruments. Wow. OK, so Eric, why don't you give us an idea of what kind of applications need this level of performance? So this uh, product is well-suited for applications in automated tests of high-speed serial uh, links, for example, and in applications in science and physics research. One example of the latter is in prototyping and testing of radar systems. Celex is an NI customer and builds next generation radar systems. And some of those require many channels of very high bandwidth acquisition that are tightly synchronized and have very fast data streaming. Uh, this PXI Express product we showed is ideal for the prototyping and test of this kind of radar system. Very nice. So I have only one more question for you. Okay. When will we be able to get one of those digitizers? So we are uh, uh, still working on this, as you can see, and uh, we're working with lead users for the remainder of this year, uh, and the general availability of this product will be next year. Okay, great. Well, certainly I believe our, our relationship between National Instruments and Tektronix is really moving out the fever curve. So thanks for the demo this morning, guys, and thanks for joining us, Craig. Okay, thank you. Thank you.